the we were in search of the G spot. I don't think you could find that with a fucking wetsuit and a diver's helmet. <laughs> Hello, Star Crack What's the story. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out the legend Billy Connolly. This is women's movement. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not laughing at women's movement, but you know Billy Connolly is gonna take the piss. It's gonna take the absolute piss. Let's go. Life could be quite but for the single guys it would be such a godsend, I think. <laughs> you see, it's not easy being a man. No, listen, did you hear that derisory laughter? <laughs> and because I've just been, see, and men are under pressure. Yes. Like dogs, sex life, they just grab the first one that's passing. Yeah, you'll do. <laughs> you do. <laughs> you do. And since the women's movement, the women are demanding things. Give me things. Do things to me. Do exotic, <laughs> do exotic things and plenty of them. Exactly. Tonight, I think I'll have multiple orgasms. Thank <laughs> you, fucking hell. What was that? Go for it, my boy. Plenty of orgasms. I'll tell you when to stop. <laughs> We found the clitoris. <laughs> then we were in search of the G spot. I don't think you could find that with a fucking wetsuit and a diver's helmet. I, I know gynecologists who don't believe in it. It's, just, it's, it's difficult to be a man. I mean, just the, the men's movement in America has taken the country by storm. Right? There are people are all meeting and. But you see films of the world, of the women's movement. We want this and that. We demand a share in that and most of that, some of this of and that. fucking all of that. <laughs> Less of that and more of this and fucking plenty of this. <laughs> and another thing, we want it now. I want it yesterday. I want fucking more tomorrow. And the demands will all be changed then, so fucking stay away. <laughs> Stay well awake, well you'll probably remain awake because you'll be fucking sleeping in the wet bit. Now. <laughs> <laughs> the men's movement. The cameras have gone to meetings of the men's movement. They're all crying. My father wouldn't talk to me. I thought, what the fuck's happening? We used to be hairy hunters. I am man, the hunter. Therefore, I'm going to get pissed. <laughs> it made sense to us. <laughs> my wife thought a pint was that size. <laughs> and my wife for a pint. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> Where have you been? I was out for a pint. Wait, it's never a pint, is it? It's never a pint. I, I don't. I don't drink. Wait. That's it. I don't drink, but whenever I'm out with the lads and they say they're going out for a pint, it's never a pint. It's never a pint. But yeah, I never knew there was a men's movement in the 90s. I knew I've, I've heard about the women's movement, but the men's movement? Never heard of it. I feel like with each generation, things just change. I'm still the exact same, man. I could be the most manly man. I could just be chilling sometimes. It just depends. I don't care. <laughs> sometimes, either make me look soft, I don't care. It just, I'm just myself. I like what I like. Like for, for instance, I like colorful socks. Let me show you these socks. One second. Uh, oh God, it's a little bit dirty right now. But yeah, look at this. I like that. That's cool. Like I'm the kind of person that I like what I like. Then I'm the same geezer. I could, want to, I could go hiking in the forest. Actually, I've never gone hiking in the forest, but I'd love to do that. That'd be so cool. But yeah, if you guys like that, you want to see more Billy Connolly and more manly stuff like this. Yes, more manly stuff. <laughs> Comment down below, like, share, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.